I'm sharing with you how I made my RGB LED push button necklace and earring. This is an idea I've had for quite some time, but I finally got a chance to try it out. I consider this a really rough prototype with room for improvement. Here I'm just sketching out the idea first, and then I decided to sketch what the circuit would look like, and then how that would transfer into something that would work aesthetically. Once I figured that out, I wired it up on the breadboard to ensure that it would work. Next, I had to start soldering everything together, and I tried about three different things for soldering the resistors to the RGB LED, and then to the wires that go around the neck for the actual pendant, and eventually I settled on something that I was okay with. Uh, here I'm cutting the wires to length to go around my neck. Then I also decided along the way to do the earrings and solder those together as well. Here I'm just attaching the actual earring holder to the circuit board. And after soldering everything together, it didn't work. So I had to unsolder a lot of things and retry a lot until I got it to work. Once we did finally get it to work, Nathan, my boyfriend, sewed the Arduino onto the back of my shirt to hold it in place. In the future, I'd use a smaller Arduino, like a Teensy, and actually attach that to the clasp of the necklace, but this worked for prototyping. Then I put each of the earrings in. Earrings didn't lay the way that I expected, which makes me want to try wireless in the future, but at the same time, I enjoy the aesthetic of all of the wires being exposed. So I might just need to find a way to manage the wires in the future instead. I actually use wire clips as sort of like another additional hook earring on the ear. Here Nathan is wrapping the uh, necklace around my neck. And it works, but it took a lot of troubleshooting and re-soldering to get there. I hope you enjoy the RGB LED push button necklace and earrings and that it inspires you to create something of your own.